Old Alabama Gardener here. I'm going to show you a new way to make a bitter melon frame. You have been accustomed to seeing my bitter melon frame as shown here. And the disadvantage of this one is that it's not movable and I wind up growing bitter melon in the same place year after year. Now here I've driven down steel T post 48 inches apart in the width and four feet apart going down the row. Using a regular band clamp, I've already fastened a short piece of chain link fence top rail to the top of each steel T post. This part is a corner part uh, that's part of a chain link fence setup, and you can buy this at Lowe's. This will fit right on the pipe at the top of the steel T post and will allow us to insert a cross piece. Now I'm going to measure and slide the short piece of pipe in the band clamp up or down to where the whole top is about six feet high and then I'll tighten the band clamp down tight. So here we are now. We're ready for the 47 inch cross pieces. So here I have the first cross piece in place and we need to get the rest of them in. Now we're ready to slide the 16 foot piece of cattle panel up on top. Now here are some of the details of how this thing is put together. And first you're looking at the band clamp and how it holds the piece of pipe to the steel T-post. Next is the corner piece and you see how it fits over the vertical piece of pipe but it also holds the horizontal piece of pipe. Next are the brace clamps that hold the long pieces of pipe between the crossways pieces of pipe to help support the overall frame. Now I've already dug the holes and I'm getting ready to plant the plants. The holes are about two feet apart, both, the, both directions, and about a foot deep. The first thing I'm going to do is put a good sprinkling of triple 13 in each one of the holes. Now we're going to bring in the plants. Now let's get planting. Partially fill the hole with some loose soil and then add about uh, a handful of triple 13 all the way around the plant. After filling the hole almost full, then put about a two to three inch layer of good compost around each plant. Fill the hole up with it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We got all the plants planted, we got the fertilizer in, we got the compost on top. Now we want to give each hole a good soaking of water. Now we got to tie a piece of string from the frame up above to a, to a wire pin that I've put in the ground at each plant and then start training the plant up around the string. So this is what it looks like when you've got all of the strings in place and you got each plant beginning to climb up the string. Now I've cut the bottom out of grocery bags and I've split the bag up the side so I can lay it out flat. Make a tear in the bag if you need to so that you can overlap them. And this is what it'll look like when you start to get all the paper on the ground under the plants. And now we're going to cover the paper with a thick layer of just plain old leaves that's been raked up in the woods. What the paper and the leaves do is they provide a weed grass barrier and they conserve moisture. So about 60 days after you transplanted the plants into the ground here, this is what you have.
beautiful bitter melon ready for harvest. All right, look at that one there. Wonderful. Oh, yeah, oh my goodness. <laughs> Over here, you need... ready to pick? Yeah. <laughs> Over here. Wow, that's a big one. Can we pick this one? Yeah, yeah over here too. Uh oh, here's a big one. Oh my God. Really big one. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Now look at this. Because it's another really big one. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that's she the thumb. Mm -hmm. Over here. I saw more people on some place. Oh, top over there. You wanna, what do you want to do with this one? Leave it, I think. Go ahead and take the... Take it. Yeah. All right. Oh, here's a big one over here. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, that to show how much size it is yeah. compared to your face. <laughs> Take a picture here in my arms. Yeah. Put two more. Oh, that's the red one. All right. You want this one? Oh, that's one. Okay. This one. All right, look at these two. This oh, camera it doesn't take it wide. Okay, now I can take your picture, your picture, and put in baggy. You want this one? So this is a harvest for this day, and we counted them up. We had a couple more laying in the garage. We had about 90 really good Bitter melon here. 89. About, ni about 90, huh? Yeah, about the 90. All together. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. How I... How I do. That's the biggest one right there. Yeah. That one and which one was? This one. Yeah, that's big too. She. 